was a regular Tuesday afternoon. I walked into my office like every other Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday is my day to sleep in, kind of like Mondays and Thursdays and the weekend. I never expected to fall in love that day, to solve the biggest case of my life, to have a big story in my life. Put the four of clubs or spades or whatever that is over there. Until she walked in. How can I help you, ma'am? <clears throat> well, Mr. Howell, my name is Jessica Pivna, and that man is my husband. I believe he's been kidnapped. Kidnapped, huh? Any sign of a struggle? Well, no. Where was he last? Before the kidnapping? All I can be sure of is, when we went to sleep, he was there. When I woke up, he was gone. Oh, so you two slept together. He's my husband. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. <sighs> Sounds like it can only be a kidnapping. I'll take the case. Oh, thank you, Mr. Howell. Your help is greatly appreciated. I couldn't help but take the case. Seeing how gorgeous Jessica was, how could I not take the case? I haven't had a case since I accidentally killed my biggest client's goldfish three months ago, so I needed the money. Though, I couldn't help but hope that I didn't find her husband. coming. Please, call me Ethan. Well then, Ethan, you may do what you need around the house, and you may help yourself to any food or drink. I was very thirsty. It was almost as if she could read my mind. Could she possibly have any hot pockets? Maybe some pizza rolls? I could definitely use some fruit punch. I may have no other choice but to go straight to the kitchen. Ethan? Ethan? Uh, Mr. Howell, I have plenty of fruit punch.
I looked through everything, conducted a thorough search of all the evidence, just for the tiniest clue, but nothing. Most of these trophies are made out to a guy named Jeff. Coincidence? I think not. I bet this Jeff is of the utmost importance to the case. Damn, I'm good. Now all I have to figure out is, who is this Jeff character and why did he leave all these awesome trophies? I needed more clues. I knew I shouldn't have taken this case. It's gonna make me look like a fool to Jessica. I know this key type. This is the key to a mahogany display closet made in Malaysia within the last 10 to 12 years. Why would this be lying around here, though? It can only mean that they own a Malaysian mahogany display closet. Where, though? I need to find this display closet. This key could be the key to all my problems. Top-notch metaphor, Ethan. Top-notch. I guess Jessica really is married to some guy named Jeff. Well, this was kind of a dead end. Jessica, I'm leaving you. Lawyer will be in touch. Goodbye, Jeff. This room just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Who's this Jeff guy? Why is he leaving Jessica? Is he stupid? I may have finally found the kiss that I can't solve. The glue that held these pieces together. The missing piece of the puzzle. The piece of the mystery I so desperately needed. An important piece to help me piece it together. A marriage certificate. Jeffrey and Jessica Pivna. Jeff is Jessica's husband. Jeff was Jessica's husband. Whoa! Jeff wasn't kidnapped. Jeff left. Yes! What are you so excited about? Did you figure it out? Was your husband's name Jeff? Yes. Did I not tell you that? No, I figured that out myself. <laughs> the 
Would you like to grab some coffee? I knew that coffee was a long shot, but I had to ask. A beautiful woman like that? I needed to... Ow! I probably should have expected that. I mean, my God! Whoa! Oh. What? What's... What's happening? Oh, I, I guess... Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You'll thank me later. I never cease to amaze myself with my genius. Another day, another story.